Hello everyone, welcome to Crofton and Cruising. I'm Lisa and this is probably gonna be a quick live. What's this hair doing? Because I'm in Lexington um, taking care of my grandchildren tonight while the parents are out for a date because tomorrow my daughter has surgery. So um, I've got them down the bed and I broke a um <laughs> a paintbrush I was trying to put back together. So anyway, we're probably not gonna be on here long I'm sure they'll come in um uh, while we're doing a live and they'll probably just pass right on by. But um I wanted to show you hey Roger um what I've done so far and turn the camera. Here is the little snowman. Now, he's not finished, so don't panic. He, I put a little, made a little scarf to put around him today. These are his arms, and he's got a snowball in his arm he's going to throw. And I'm going to be covering them with some bling. I also made, mm -hmm. if I can reach it, a little cap out of some coffee tea stained felt. Put a little stuffing in it, so that's going to go on him at some point. Um, this is going to be covered with diamond dust. I'm really stuck on his eyes. I had them painted um, white and black, and then I had these little things in the middle of them. I didn't like them. So now I'm wondering if I should paint it all black with just a little bit of blue and some white and then wait till I can get some bigger sparkly bling for the eyes or what I should do. I don't know. So let me turn the camera back around and I'm going to try to get you all in a good place on my little tripod where you can at least see what I'm going to try to do. So let me see. Nice hat. Thanks, honey. Let me turn him around. And y'all be thinking about his eyes. Here's his other arm. Ronnie, you can post what this stuff is. I don't even know what it's called. I think it may be a little bit too long in here. Let me see if I can push it a little bit. It's kind of hanging down. That's okay. So right now, what I'm gonna do, as yeah, they do, I'm gonna put some of this bling, I'm gonna start gluing it on this arm right here. So I'm gonna put some glue down, some hot melt glue, and hope I don't burn myself. And then I'm just gonna start putting the bling on, if you can see, Romex wire, he said it's called. I also have this bling that I could put on here. That's pretty. But you know, since he's just bejeweled with so many different things, not everything has to be matchy-matchy, right? So, let's see if we can get a little glue put on this arm. So, Brittany had a procedure done yesterday. And then tomorrow, she's having a gallbladder removal. So we would appreciate any and all prayers. The doctor yesterday told her she has several large stones. So we gotta get that bad boy out of there and hope that she can recover quickly. She's a nurse, for those of you who don't know. She's a nurse, and so she's, you know, real familiar with all of the ins and outs of anesthesia and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a little bit bigger than this wire, but that's okay because I'm going to cover the back part too, and it may not be in the same stuff, and that's okay too. doesn't have to be. As my art teacher, Gail, used to say, I'm the artist. I'm in charge of my project, so I will put on here what I want to put on here, right? 
Tell me what the weather's like for you all are. It's been really dreary here, but, and I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, like I said, but it's not cold. Hi, Janine. I'm just doing a quick live. Hi, Ann Brecco. Thank you. Made a little hat that I'll eventually put on him. I'm trying to figure out what to do for the eyes, so I, I would welcome any suggestions. Hey, Mickey. Um, I, I'm at my daughter's house. I just got there explaining she's having surgery tomorrow. So I'm in Kentucky, and um, she and her husband have gone out for a date night before her surgery tomorrow, and I've been here with the grandchildren. And they are um, in the bed, and so I thought I would just come on. I started this project the other day and then um, got sidetracked, and I know I won't be able to be on tomorrow um, because... Uh, I don't see Vicki. Who are you talking about, Ronnie? I said Mickey. Hey, Jana. Um, because she's having her surgery, and I don't know, you know, how long we'll be there. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the kids from school or staying with her or what. Hey, Micheline. So, um, we're just kind of playing it by ear and winging it right now. So, I won't be up too awful late since we'll have a full day tomorrow, but today the youngest one stay home from school again she wasn't feeling great and um, she's going back tomorrow so she and I ran around and for her mom did some things and then we picked up her sister at school and then we went and did some more things for her mom and came home and saw the parents for a while hey Susan how are you sister Thank you, Micheline. I appreciate it. We're very grateful for all the prayers we can get. Um, so the girls and I ran around for a little while trying to get some stuff for Brittany. And then we um, came home and they saw their mom and dad for a little while. And then mom and dad went out on a date. And so we had our own date. We went to eat Mexican. Came home and played a couple of games and got the youngest one in bed. Thank you, Susan. I'm so grateful for all my sisters and joining me in prayer. It's such an honor and privilege that we can pray for each other. And certainly with the number of sisters in the sisterhood, there's going to always be somebody needing prayer. So it's, I think it's our privilege and our right to be able to pray, but I also think it's an honor to be able to pray. Yeah, Ronnie's at home. He's in a, he just got through a wrestling match of our granddaughter's boyfriend. And uh, so he's probably either still sitting in the gym or en route home. Okay, so can y'all see, are you close enough to see how I just blamed this arm out? Let me swipe the See, I'm just blinging it out. I'll probably put a snowman in her hand eventually, too. I think that, I'm not a snowman, a snowball. I think that would be cute. So I'm just working with what I have, and if I don't have enough, then I'll finish it when I can get some more bling. But the challenge, the snowman challenge for crafters is this week. Ends on the 10th, I think. So I'm trying to make sure that I get my project finished by the 10th. Let me bring the comments back. I don't have my computer checking comments for me today. So I'm going to turn it a little bit so I can see where to cut it. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Have you finished your Christmas shopping? Hi, Carol Haynes. Thank you for coming on. Um, I'm almost through with my shopping, you guys, and it's so nice. Hey, Nancy. Um, so nice to be this close to Christmas and it be done. I'm still working on my Christmas card, believe it or not. If y'all remember, I did my painting when I was in the Cayman Islands this summer, and I was bragging, or this fall, I was bragging about how, oh, I'm going to get all that done. You're right, Carol, it is. I'm going to be ahead of the game. I'm going to get all this done in time. I'll have my cards out early, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Um, the cards were painted, but they sure weren't, uh, the inside, I had not written the verse for the inside or the little message for the inside, so 
now I have, and I've ordered blank cards, and my husband um, has taken a picture of the painting that I did for the card. And he is working on trying to get all the inside laid out properly to get my approval so we can go on and print them and get them in the mail. There's just a lot going on around our household right now. But it's all good. It is a lot of costume jewelry. I've used costume jewelry for several things, Carol. I've got some of those wooden um, shoe forms that people used to use, putting their shoes, keep them in shape. And I've done a few of those, and I have used them as bookends before. Um, so I, I love, and of course, you know, when we're trying to bling stuff out on our projects we're doing, it's always good to have a little extra jewelry sitting around. So I love my costume jewelry and I do collect it. I don't want to spend a lot of money on it, but when somebody's cleaning out a drawer or box and they're going to give it away to Goodwill or whatever. I, if I know about it, I ask them just to give it to me. And occasionally I can go to like an antique store. Yes, it is, Susan. Um, and find like bags of jewelry. Costume jewelry for not very much. And I'll sometimes pick those up. But I, I have had a, one of those large Rubbermaid boxes filled with costume jewelry for so long. So, my dear, sweet, precious husband, when I told him I was gonna be in a snowman challenge, and I said, I need something real creative and unique to do, like something that would just be different that nobody else would do. He said, why don't you make a bejeweled snowman? And without really giving it much thought, I said, oh yeah, that's a cool idea. And he said, yeah, and then you can get rid of some of that jewelry. Did you care? He said, um, you, I, that way you get rid of some of that jewelry. <clears throat> I said, I think that's a great idea. Mm, what was I thinking? Mm -hmm. Later, I thought, you know what? He's not the one doing this project. I am. He did make these arms for me. And he did paint it white. And, and he put the styrofoam body together. This was a cooler. One of those big, like, igloo coolers that we were gonna get rid of. And he said he could cut out the snowman, snowman shape, carve it out for me, and so he did. And then he painted it um, white for me, and then I asked him to put some glitter on it so wherever there's holes where there's no jewelry, <clears throat> it'll be covered up. Hey, Deborah. And um, so he, he's done quite a bit on it. I, I have to give him credit. I can't say he hadn't, because he has. This was all his idea of what, what I should do. So, and it's fun, but you know sometimes when you work on a project for so long and then you just get to the point where you're like, ugh, mm -mm, I'm over it. And I'm kinda over this snowman. I've also got some light bulbs I'm gonna paint as snowmen. They're really, really cute. I've done them before. I love going through and untangling all that. I don't like that part. <laughs> No, you, you can have that part. That is not a fun part for me. All right, let me turn it a little bit so I can, I think this got a little crooked under here. So I can peel it back and straighten it out before I put another piece in. I don't wanna get hot melt glue dripping everywhere. I'm trying to keep it off of Brittany's table so I've got some wrapping paper under it. I did bring a few gifts up here not for these girls, but for the other granddaughters so they could help me uh, wrap it. And they just thought that was so much fun for about two presents, and then they were over it. Uh, let me see where to cut this about right here. Um, so what is everybody doing tonight? This is late for me to be on. Of course, it's not as late at home as it is here. It's 9, 20, 9 35 here so at home it's an hour earlier but it just gets dark so early it feels like it's a lot later okay i think that little arm turned out really well can y'all see it let me hey gloria look see all the bling i'll hold you up a little bit closer so you can see 
Wait, let me just turn the camera. That would be better. Okay. So I've used watch faces. I've used earrings. I've used pendants. Um, there's actually some pendants I had that were Christmassy, like this little stocking. That was an old watch. It has two snowmen on it. So anytime, like, here's a um, candy cane. So anytime I lose like an earring and I only have one left, then, um, you know, I throw the extra one in the, in the box. Okay, so let's see if I can turn it again. I'm sipping my drink. She does have false eyelashes on two pair. <clears throat> but until I get these eyes figured out, you're not really gonna be able to tell or see them. And I do have, I was gonna finish this part on live with y'all, but I think I'm gonna do the arms before I sign off. I still have to fill in this back part with some beads. But I'll show you what I do. I literally will take a bead like this one and see where I can fit it in and put some hot melt glue on it. And then I just hold it up there. Now I will say that a couple of the beads have fallen off. So I had to go back and redo them. And I was gonna use, um, what is that? Um, thick, what is it? Um, something and thick, or thick and something, I don't remember. Anyway, um, but it wasn't holding. I mean, I think ultimately it would have, but it would have taken a long time. And I didn't have the patience to do that, so. Um, this one, I'm gonna put right there. So I just always hope that when I just put a little glue around here that I'm not gonna burn my fingers. There's been a few times today I've said not so nice word because I got too close with the glue, but trying to watch my mouth around the grandchildren. Where are your finger cots? I don't, I don't have them here, Micheline. I know I'm bad. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so now y'all see what I do there. I've got, let me see what else I have. I even will use things like this. This is an earring. See, that would be cute there, and then I could put some stuff underneath it. I can grab my little plier things to break it off here. I think I hear somebody up. Naughty girl, I know, I know, I know. Don't tell anybody, Micheline. Don't tell mommy. I don't want the hot milk glue Nazis coming after me. Like Barbara Corona Hodges and Debbie Reed. <laughs> uh, let's put this one more, more one and then I'm gonna get back to the arms because y'all have seen this and it's kind of like watching paint dry, just watching somebody stick jewels on here. That's boring. Y'all, yesterday my daughter and I saw an accident. Well, we didn't. Quite nice, sweetie. Nice, sweetie. You want to say hi? No. Just say hi. No. <laughs> okay. Night. I love you. Um. So we were coming home from her procedure and I was getting ready to get in the right lane and ahead of us, she said, oh my gosh, those cars just wrecked. And I looked and you could just, I mean, one of them was just smashed to smithereens and um, the airbag was out and everything. And I said, should we go over there? Cause you know, she's a nurse. And um, I said, should we go over there? That looks bad. And um, she said no, because right now I'm not really in any shape to do anything, which she wasn't. Um, let me take that off and start again. So, um, but fortunately for them, there was a policeman sitting at the light, like three cars back. So of course, you know, he saw the, the smoke and things flying and immediately turned his lights on and went over there. So. I hope nobody was hurt, but it, it looked pretty bad. The whole front end of one car was just ripped off. Um, and it's just so, it's just so like quick and thick. Yeah, Susan, that's it. Um, <clears throat> you know, you just feel so helpless and you feel like, oh my gosh, what if there's more, 
somebody's really hurt, what can I do? Do I need to, and, and I said, do we need to stay to be a witness? And she said, no, because I didn't see it happen. I just, I saw, I looked up and saw like the aftermath. And, um, and I was driving, so um, we didn't, we didn't stop. But uh, I have a feeling somebody got hurt pretty seriously in that. Okay, this one is too wide. So, I would love some suggestions for these eyes, you guys. I'm really struggling with that. I don't know what to do about the eyes. Do you need me? No, I just hear that sound. Huh? I just hear that sound. What sound are you talking about, honey? I don't know. I just heard sound. Oh. Well, it's fine. Good night. Good night. Love you. I think she might be a little anxious with her parents still out. She jumps at every little. Everyone in the ways. Um, Deborah, I don't know if I can do eyelids or not. Not sure really how I would do that. I can think on it and see if I can come up with something, but I just need something to make them stand out. So I don't know if they should be like black background with then like maybe blue in the center and then a little bit of white and then jewels some big jewels to make them pop out I don't know I thought I liked what I had and then I didn't I took it off and I started painting it again and then I didn't like that either so it hasn't spoken to me yet but eyelids is something I can think about um, I don't know, that's interesting. Eyelids. Hmm. Well, this is so much fun and just so, like, it doesn't take any thought, you know? You just sit down and do it. Some projects are not that way, but this one is. I, I love stuff like this. I know y'all can't see everything I'm doing because I'm covering you up. Just trying to put some glue on here right now. Um, I started watching a little while ago and I'm gonna finish it when I lay down to go to bed. Um, Barb doing the um, snowman from, yes, I mean the Santa Claus from yesterday. That was so cute with she and Bob sitting there and him helping her. I loved it. And I'm so glad he felt good enough to do it. So I can't wait to watch the rest of it. I just admire Barbara for stepping in there and doing a project like that. Oh, this is so cute. Could you use buttons, like one button on top of another? Possibly, and that's what, wait, what's it not? that's what these are. These right here are buttons that I just painted over. Um, so yes, I could probably put another button on top of it, a smaller one, and then maybe fling it out. Um, so that's a good thought, Micheline. Like I said, I'm kind of to the point now where I'm over it. <laughs> I want it to be done so I can move on to doing the light bulbs and some other fun stuff. Okay, let's see. Don't think I have any more except this. So, we could start with the black bling. Some black under here. 
But it doesn't have to be the same. Let me tilt this arm back this way so I can put some black bling on it. Maybe they aren't blingy since the rest is. That's true. That's a very good point. But what would I do to make them pop so that they wouldn't get lost in that jewelry? I tried to put a lot of, um, of uh, silver around the face area where like the mouth and the eyes would be so that that would be lighter anyway and not so full of dark jewels. Ann and I were texting about 2023 girl drip. Um, no, I will come back. Um, yeah, I don't know about a, a girl's trip this year. Deborah, we're just going to have to kind of play that one by ear. But you and Ian go on and make your plans. That's good. Matchy. He's a snowman. Remember, he's gonna melt. So it doesn't matter. He's the matter. But this one is gonna be covered because um, this is the one that's got the snow snowball in its hand. So we gotta make sure that this arm is really looking spiffy and ready to throw a snowball. Put this piece on to connect up without burning my finger. Yes. Got it. Okay, so see that black did good. Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button. Ugh, not feeling great. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you go to bed and take care of you, sister. For sure. I hope you feel better in the morning. I'll be praying for you. Now this kind right here is very hard to cut. I also have this strip of pearl I possibly could use down part of it. There's some little pearls on her arm. I don't really like that. I have some more of this black so I can fill in on the side with the black. You know, you just make do with what you got. Hey, Debbie Riggs, sweet sister. I've got a blinged out snow woman here that I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do with the eyes. I'm going to turn it around in a minute and get your professional opinion because I'm about over this snow person. But I told the people that are on that I'm gonna diamond dust the snowball in this hand right here. Let me move it over. In this hand right here, that's gonna be covered in diamond dust. It's actually gonna be up like this, like she's fixing to throw it. I'll have to get it to stay in better. So, but I'm having trouble with figuring out what to do finished totally blinging her on the back for the eyes. I had something done and I didn't like it. So let me get you closer. I tried to keep everything light around here like with silver and gold jewels. I've got some false eyelashes on her. These are buttons that I've just painted. I painted them white and then I painted them black and blue and then I painted them white and blue and nothing is really Satisfying me. It's a lot of bling on her. Yes, it is. Hey, Shelly Sacklin. Um, it is a lot of bling. So what I had earlier, they were actually dark, darker eyes, and then I had these little things in the center to make them pop, but I don't like it. I've also got a hat that I made for her that will eventually go on her. So this is for a snowman challenge. Um, 
hey Michael Smith uh, hey Minnie so Deb do you have any suggestions on what I can do for eyes and I'm in um, Kentucky with my grandchildren because my daughter's having surgery tomorrow so she and her husband are on a date and they may come in just any minute um, if they do I think they'll just go right on by but just wanted to make y'all aware so I'm gonna go back here now and work some more on the back of her head while I'm waiting on y'all to give me suggestions for what I can do on eyes so see I just like I should probably take that off I'm just gonna fill in I've got so much costume jewelry that this has really lightened the load of my container of costume jewelry, I'll tell you. I like the hat, and I actually like the bling in the eyes you did. Well, what color? Thank you, Shelly, so much. All prayers appreciated. Uh, what color, Deb, would you, Betty, would you do the eyes? What about jewel cabochons? <gasps> That's a good idea, if I can get some fast enough. I think the challenge ends the 10th. See these little earrings right here? I don't know if you can see them or not. That, they're little turquoise ear. They're really not earrings, but they're four earrings. And um, so when I glue something like this on, then sometimes I go back, if I don't like what's showing in the middle, I'll go back and add like a round stone in there just to cover that up. Let me stick this on here and hold it for a minute. Okay. Okay, let's see. I liked what you had you did. Okay, well, I can always go back and put that in. Yeah, I think I want a little stone except I think I may be wrong. Y'all, so much stuff. It's so much fun because it's such a no-brainer. Debbie, your house is absolutely gorgeous. Finally watched the replay, and I started watching the replay of your mom and Bob. Um, I haven't got to watch a lot of it because I'm not taking care of the grins, but um, when I lay down tonight, I'm going to finish watching it. Sorry, y'all. Um, let me cut some of this little pearl stuff off. I'm going to put a little bit on here. I think this is the same pearl stuff that Debbie was using the other day. I'll talk about you a lot, Debbie. Always in a good way. I promise. See, I'm just filling in. Probably a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut a couple of those off. This glue cord is not long enough, so I have to be really careful so I don't yank it out of the wall. No finger cuts. Shh, Micheline, I told you not to tell Debbie. Ugh. Now I'm caught. Goodness, I thought you were my friend, Micheline. And now you've gone and told the boss. Goodness. I know, I just didn't remember to bring them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm usually the one trying to get people to use finger cots, and I have so many people tell me, I'm not using those things. They're just so uncomfortable. And I know they are, I don't like them either. But I also don't want to end up like Debbie Reed did with second, third degree burns. So now Micheline's told on me. Cat's out of the bag. Love you, that's why I'm cringy here every time you go to glue something. I know you do. I know you do, and I am very grateful for you. And you are absolutely right. This lady came up to me today at Walmart. I had been in there um, shopping, and I was checking out, and she worked there. And I had all of my stuff in bags, but my purse was still down in the um, uh, buggy. And she came over, and she said, do you want this item that I had laid up there that I didn't want? 
and I said, um, no ma'am, I don't want it. Um, if you don't mind putting it back for me, I'd be ever so grateful. And she said, um, can, I, can I ask you something? And I said, sure. And I thought she was really gonna ask me something. And she said, you see your purse sitting there in your buggy open? I said, um, yeah, I do. She goes, please don't do that. She said, we had a man in here yesterday that was just wandering around. He would see a, a bag in a buggy and he wouldn't do anything. He'd just go stand there like he was gonna do something. And um, she said, I just hate to see people get stuff taken from them when they could avoid it. And I said, you're totally right. I said, I actually have my cell phone stolen at a um, Goodwill at home. So uh, you're absolutely right. And um, I appreciate you being conscientious and you know saying something to me. And she said, I mean, some people get mad when I do that, but you know, I'm just really trying to help people. And I said, no, you're, you're absolutely 100% right. And I'm so, grateful that you said something and so I picked my bag up and put it on my arm and was very very appreciative because you know I live in the south and um, I grew up in the south and I grew up where we didn't have to worry about stuff like that you know I played outside until dark got home from school got on my bicycle with my friends we rode all over the neighborhood we go in each other's houses and have a snack or whatever our mothers weren't worried about us the rule was when it starts to get um dark come home yeah i, I do that too um many but you know she was right i mean if people are standing by watching you from a distance and you don't know it they can see when you put something down very very easily and um and even if they see you covered up then they can walk right by you do have to be so careful, Micheline, and it's, it is a very sad testimony of where our world has come to. And in Goodwill, this is the weird thing, when my phone was stolen in Goodwill, my whole purse was sitting down inside the buggy. But in our Goodwills, they have little ledges on top of the buggies, and so I had my um, cell phone up there because I'd been talking on it, and then I just laid it there when I stop to look at something and um so apparently she came right by grabbed it didn't even think about grabbing my purse and off she went and once i realized it was missing i knew who it was biggest day out of all the people in there sure enough it was and we tracked my phone down and it ended up in louisville kentucky she sold it for drug money in this thing called Eco ATM, which is at most Walmarts. You probably have it at yours. And if they can get their hands on a cell phone or any kind of electronic for that matter, um, they will go and sell it to the Eco ATM and make, for mine, mine was an iPhone 12 Pro at the, or 12 Plus at the time. And um, he's, he told me they probably got, she probably got about $200 off of it. Um, but some people go in there and sell stuff and they're not bad people. They just want to get rid of some stuff they have and so they'll sell it. And, um, but what happens is when they go up to sell it, the cameras, there's cameras on there that are constantly taking pictures of the person while they're doing the transaction. And it's my understanding that somebody in the from the machine will be talking to that person and they first have to put in some form of ID. So um, we were supposed to actually go to court and when we were gonna go to court, I was gonna be out of town and they said, no problem, we'll reschedule. That's been months ago and they never rescheduled. So I'm sure she's back out on the street, she's homeless. And uh, the policeman that handled the case knew exactly who she was when I described her. I thought it was a guy at first, um, but it was a woman and he knew exactly who I was talking about. And he said, yep, she does it all the time. She sells it for heroin. And um, there's a Lowe's right there too. And he said, they'll go in the Lowe's. <clears throat> they'll steal as much as they can from Lowe's. They'll steal as much as they can from Walmart. And then they'll go out on the street, sell it, get more drug money. And sadly, in that homeless community, which they have shut down three or four times and put 
barriers up and everything in that homeless community somebody dies at least once a week it's awful it's just awful it's sad and it's awful so anywho all right guys well i'm probably gonna get off um i know i wasn't on very long but i think i'm gonna get off so that when my daughter and her husband get home i can find out the definite plans for tomorrow who's gonna go to the hospital and who's gonna pick the girls up from school, et cetera, and then try to get a good night's sleep myself so I'll be prepared for whatever the day holds for me tomorrow. And I do really appreciate you all praying for Brittany. <clears throat> like I said, I've had this surgery and I know it's no fun. Um, it could be a lot worse. Um, so we're grateful that it's not, um, but can never have too much prayer so um my friend vicky that you all been praying for by the way calls me tonight and she's being released tomorrow from um uh physical therapy <clears throat> inpatient physical therapy she will have to continue to go to outpatient physical therapy three to four days a week for three hours at a time so um she's not looking forward to that but she is looking forward to getting out of of rehab they they had been kicking her tail so uh she said I, i'm i'm ready for my tail to not be kicked anymore to this degree because they've been working her eight hours in physical therapy crazy so anyway i appreciate you guys thank you for coming on um i hope to be on thursday and maybe show you the light bulb um snowmen and angels that i'm making so um i love you and i'll talk to you later